So in this video, we'll talk about how life changes and never stays the same. This is my brother's room, by the way. I grew up here and um, come to visit my family every Friday to eat a Friday dinner thing. But today I came early for the funeral, so apparently I'm here. Anyway, what I do in life is I do my thing, whether shit is good or whether shit is bad. So I ask myself, what's the most rational, consistent daily actions that I can take every day for a very long period or until something changes massively? So if um, right now, again, my daily habits are, um, you know, the five videos a day, the working out, meditation, uh, you know, the daily reports, day in and day out, uh, studying two hours every day, and more and more and more. That's just what I do now. But on the same token, uh, let's say you're depressed, you know, maybe there's a completely different set of, of daily actions that you can take, or you should take. I just had a call right now with a guy who says his problem is being social. He doesn't have any social life. So we built a daily uh, list of habits for him based on that. You know, that's his focus right now. So you go through these um, events in your life, you know, something good happens and then life is amazing and you're enjoying it and it's just awesome. Or sometimes you go through bad things and then life is shit and, and everything is horrible. And every time you feel like it's going to to stay forever like this is what's up this is the situation this is how my life will look now at my tender tender not tinder tender 22 years of age i already came to realize that everything changes that no situation remains the same it's never just up and up and up there's always changes you know it's, it's something goes up and then it gets bad or something gets bad and then it gets good you know you get you might Somebody might die and shit, and then something really good might happen, and that's a good period. Um, you might have a really good financial period, and then you might have a really bad financial period. So it changes. It constantly, constantly changes, and the only constant is you. So coming out of that equation, knowing that life keeps changing, what do you do? Like, How do you navigate this, this, this constantly changing maze? It's like the, the movies, I think the movie called Cube. It's a horror movie about people stuck in this killer cube thing where they go through like a Rubik's Cube and they go into doors and then the previous door is no longer there and then this doesn't exist and this works and this doesn't. And if you, you know, you've been in life for more than 20 years, you probably know that. Like somebody you love suddenly hates you. And somebody who hates you is someone your best friend. And you're making a lot of money, and then you stop making a lot of money, you're in big debt. And then you're in debt, and now, now you start making a lot of money. And then you know, unsuccessful, you hate your life, and then you are successful. So it's like up, down, left, right, like just goes all the way. How do you navigate that? Like, because obviously, just saying, okay, you know, life is just a chaos. I'm, I'm not even gonna try to, to navigate it, or I'm just gonna like wing it. You know, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna work. Like, you need to have some something that, that leads you forward where you have this protocol like this is what I do now it doesn't matter how life presents itself this is just the action that I'm going to take so if you've been watching me for the last 60 70 days maybe 80 probably 70 days uh, you've been seeing me growing by implementing my daily habits and again if you don't know them uh, let, ask me in the comments I'll just uh, write the list but uh, implementing these daily habits pretty much daily like 90% success rate on all of them every single day seven days a week and you see what happening to my channel i, I share my analytics everything keeps growing like I've, I've, i'm reaching new peaks all the time uh, my fitness is getting better i'm getting smarter i'm getting more fans i'm making a lot more money uh because i've switched from local to international now and it's just it keeps growing exponentially like at this rate i think by the by the, my birthday on valentine's next year like holy shit you know i don't want to spoil it but i might reach 50k with you know the rate it's progressing right now 
yeah, so it, it's awesome. But you've you've seen me, you know, in shit. Like you've seen videos I made where I was like, hey, I'm, I'm, it's a depressed period. Like this week is a depressing week. You've seen days where I'm like, yeah, I'm stressed today. This is a bad day. You know, you've seen like you've seen ups and downs, and maybe you don't even see that see it all the time. But yeah, I've had weeks where I was stressed as fuck and I had, you know, a week where I was super depressed. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. You know, just a couple of days ago, I had a day where I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's going on. This is not working. What the fuck? Like you go through these ups and downs and changes and everything changes and changes and changes. But you need to learn to keep those daily habits. You need to learn. That's like your most important life skill right there to identify where you're at and where you want to go through this thick fog and, and ever-changing chasm. Where are you and where do you want to go? And then you ask yourself, what are the daily habits that are most uh, appropriate right now? You know, and not like things that you can't do, things that I can do right fucking now to start moving me towards that thing. And it doesn't have to be optimal. It doesn't have to be the best. It doesn't have to be the smartest. It might even be slower, you know? It'll, it's like the turtle and the hare. You know, it, it's it's steady, but it's not. doesn't have to be fast, you know? I'm, I'm doing this, and people are like, hey, dude, you should do this. You should improve this. You should. I'm like, nope. One step, two step, one step, two. just like, and I know I'm doing it the slow way. They're like, you need, you could do this, it will be faster, you can do that. Yeah, I know, I don't wanna think about it. I just go to do my daily goals, and it's gonna keep growing, and then the improvements are gonna come along as I go. And that's what's happening. Uh, you know, the workouts, you know, they're getting better, they're getting better. I'm, I'm getting new information. Uh, you know, I started working out. Suddenly, a fitness client of mine told me, hey, do you intermittent, intermittent, I don't even know how you say that word, but the fasting thing, where you don't eat until 12, and that worked amazingly. And in terms of business, you know, once a week, twice, once every two weeks, once a month, I get an epiphany. like. Oh shit, it's something I forgot to do about my business or something I can do. Selling, bam, improvement, bam, improvement, you know, more money, more success. And it happens in every single area where I'm consistent, where I just show up and do the daily goal every day. And again, it's a, a bad period and a good period. And then my friend dies and then I'm happy and then I'm sad and then angry and angry period. And somebody betrayed me and somebody's happy and somebody's a good friend of mine, somebody's a bad friend. Or, it you know, changes and changes and changes and changes and 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 you know even though the like this doesn't change you know the situation the life the the, the variables they don't change my life changes you know like in your life doesn't stay the same you know just try just try doing the same thing for a fucking month tell me if life doesn't change like fucking fuck it we had a fucking new president in the United States a new president while, my, while I'm living my life, like everything keeps changing. You know, when you wake up one day, you don't even expect it, bam, you live someplace else. You wake up one day, bam, somebody fucking dies. You know, good shit happens, bad shit happens, but it always changes. So how do you maintain that order? You use the daily disciplines. So you, you learn the skill, which I'm trying to teach you, of identifying where you are, where you wanna go, the daily steps you're gonna to take to get there. You don't even have to know how to get there all the way, just the daily steps that are gonna take me there slowly. And then you trust yourself to automatically start upgrading them. So you just worry about the consistent. You can think about maybe God does it, maybe Buddha, Allah, the universe. There's a force that takes care of people who are consistent. Sometimes it's nice and it's like, oh yeah, you're consistent, bam, get a result. Sometimes, no, sometimes you have to bear it out and just for years, just do it and do it and do it and do it and do it. But there's this force that doesn't allow consistent people not to be successful. Look at the gym. Are there any people in the gym that have come every day or even three, four times a week for five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 years who don't look jack as fuck? Are there any business people who have been trying and trying and trying, not just having a business, but trying new things and having a daily routine of growth? Just because you go to work every day, it doesn't mean you, you're consistent. You're consistent with mediocrity, so you're gonna get a shitload of med mediocrity. I'm talking about consistency 
with things that produce, that improve, they go up. You have to get a big break. Everybody gets a big break if they're just consistent until they get their big break. Until life just reconfigures itself, and it's a good configuration that allows you to get your big break. You know, that girl you always wanted to get, the guy you always wanted to get, the business opportunity you always wanted, the body you always wanted, the traveling arrangement you always wanted, the big cash, big wad of money. You want it, you're gonna get what you want, but you have to be consistent because life is like a roulette wheel. It spins and spins and spins and spins and spins. And every time it, roll, it rolls the dice, it's like the lottery. It's like, is it this time? Is it this time? Is it this time? Is it this time? The more you're consistent, the more your odds will be bigger of you doing it. And I made a video about the power of repeating something to infinity, is that just like Will Smith says, if somebody goes up against me on a treadmill, I will always beat him. And the reason I will always beat him is because I will not stop running until I'm fucking dead. So I either won or I died. In which case, I also won because I didn't know that I lost. So I win or I die, that's it. And the same thing about my habits and consistency. I like to tell my students, imagine that somebody is on the sidewalk and I tell him, jump on the road and tell me if you got hit by a car. What are the odds that you get hit by a car? 1%, 2%, 5%, 10%, 15%, there are odds, okay? But they're low. So what if I tell him, do it five times and tell me if you got hit by a car, okay? The odds are not gonna be 10%, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50%, 60, 80, 100%, they're gonna be much higher. But then what if I ask him, you stand on the sidewalk and keep jumping to the road until you get hit by a car? And if you like, it's a simple equation. Jump, go on, stand on the sidewalk, number one. Number two, jump to the road, number two. Number three, did you get hit by a car? If yes, you're dead. If no, go back and repeat, number one. What are the odds that that person will get hit by a car? It's 100%, because he's just gonna keep doing it until he does it. So if you just make a decision, I'm going to be successful at whatever this thing is that I want to be successful at, and you just stay consistent and do it 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 and don't stop, no matter what, then it's impossible not to be successful unless you died. In which case, you didn't know that you lost, so you won anyway. You thought you died win, thinking you're winning. This is how you find success, precision, and consistency in a world of madness and chaos by focusing on what you want and staying consistent with it no matter what happens in life. I'm not saying you don't change it, you don't pivot if you think it's the strategic right moment to pivot. But unless you stopped and you said, okay, this is the right time to change the daily habits, you keep doing the same thing. You don't stop working because now you're making more money. That's not the time to change that habit. Okay, because success, you know, that's the problem with it. You start getting success, you feel entitled. But I made many videos about that. So this is how you you do it this is why i care so much about consistency because i've been in the shit okay with my bipolar disorder or whatever the doctors say it is with my life going up and down and having so many crazy things happen it's not i'm not bragging when i say that at, at age 22 i went through shit like a 60 or 80 years old mm -hmm. like i've been through shit Okay, and I've created most of the shit, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> and I had to learn how to navigate that, how to navigate through the shit and I also kill myself like my friend did. And that's the solution I found, be consistent. And that's why I'm grateful because that's what taught me how to be successful. Not just the success that I had in my 16 or 18 or 20s, where I had like a peak and then crashed, but success that's continually improving and growing exponentially. It's by being consistent 
It's by knowing to strategically stay consistent on your daily fucking goals and only changing them. If you strategically sat down and logically decided that now is the time to change the navigation direction. That's what I do. That's what I coach people on. Not just the business. The business is just something I like. Something I weigh, the way I use to teach this. This is a life philosophy. This is life. So you better start adapting to it or your life will keep going like that. And you know what the problem with that is? Is that this, or the more likely it looks like this, it's the results that build up over time. And if you constantly go up and then down, crash again, that means that you never get out of this range. Up, crash, up, crash, up, crash. But you never, that's the base, you never got up to here, above here. Well, I, what I do is this. So I, I keep climbing, I accept the down spirals, but I keep pushing up. I want the same for you, okay? Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if this video inspired you. Let me know if you're unsubscribed, because I will tell you to fucking subscribe. And I have I redesigned the website and it's much easier now to get the free coaching call with me because I do a first free coaching call. The first call. Second call, you know, not the second call, but if you keep working with me, it's 2000 a month. It's very easy. You just click on a, uh, on a link and you can book a call with me without even talking to me. Uh, so I made it very easier. So I'm probably going to be a lot more booked now. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the thing, you know. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helped change your life.